Mike Evans is happy this guy is not playing. These guys go at it. They, they, they go at it on the field. They go at it after the play. That's a big injury right there for the Saints and a plus for Mike Evans in the Bucks passing game, I can assure you. What do you, you talk, I know you said you, you talked to Tom three times already. So in that conversation that we all know that you had, did you talk about that? Yeah, I just want to make it clear that Tom and I talked here in the first quarter. It's uh, crystal clear, crystal like clear. I said, like I said, we did talk. It, look, he said it was a little bit of a rain situation in Cleveland, so you're not going to hit those deep throws every time in the rain. They didn't work any extra this week on deep balls. He feels like, what if they get OPI here? And push off? <laughs> right. That's a fact. Exactly. Uh, Robin, I was on GMA with you this morning, and, and we had a great conversation. And I can't remember the exact quote, but the theme of one part was about how you thought Peyton needs to be nicer to me. And, you know, I've told my mom this. I've told my dad this. They've talked to him, but they're not listening. Can you please tell them to be nicer to me? Well, well I heard he took that shot at you about being an old Miss grad. I mean, come on. I mean, he's, he, he, I sometimes I feel like I'm going to be your mom because I, I bet you heard that a lot growing up. You know, Peyton, be kinder to your brother now. Yeah. Leave little Eli alone. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's, all, it's all good fun. But, yeah, it was good having you on the show this morning. You, you have that Mississippi draw like my mom. That sounded, that sounded just like her. It just comes back to me naturally. <laughs> Robin, you hosted Jeopardy in 2021. You said you were very nervous for that. Uh, you said it was a bucket list item for you. You don't seem very nervous tonight. Does this mean appearing on the Manning cast was not a bucket list item for you? <laughs> no, 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 my friend. It means I'm in my comfort zone. You know, that's, you that's what it is, that Jeopardy Perfect. thing. Oh, my goodness. But let me Much tell you, when I, when, I, when, I, when I was doing Sports Center. Bob Lee, Charlie Steiner, and I, we used to have we used to have Jeopardy on while we were doing Sports Center. And Bob Lee always got final Jeopardy, which really, you know, kind of irked me a little bit. But uh, but no, I'm in my comfort zone watching here. Oh boy. There's a nice stop yeah. there. Yeah. Good There we go. All right, Jeopardy. Good stop there by Davis uh, there, Robin. Good good, good defensive stop. play. Good stop. Tom, Tom Brady could not stop talking about how much respect he had for Davis as a, as a cover guy, as a zone dropper, as a blitzer, like you said, Eli, he is a factor in this game. Right here, but uh, speaking, Robin, you know, one of your teammates right now, uh, GMA, is my former teammate, Michael Strahan, and earlier this year, you showed a little clip of what he does kind of behind the scenes. I think we have a video right here. <laughs> what, do you, what impresses you more uh, uh, is the way he has transitioned into media or his dancing skills? What's more impressive? I'm telling you, it's a, it's a toss-up. It's a toss-up, Eli. I mean, look at it. The <laughs> man's got moves. But, I mean, I'm so proud of him, how he has seamlessly transitioned into his, his next chapter, as you both have as well. Um, but, um, you know, something tells me that, you know, Peyton does a little something during commercial breaks, too. <laughs> that, um, yeah. You know, I, th I think you're lucky. I think you're lucky that your co-host just does dancing. What, what I have to deal with in the commercial breaks is, is completely different. Oh, what a catch. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry. There you go, Rob. No, no, yeah. it's here. Let's, let's see an honest reaction. I want to see what you normally do when you're watching a game. Let's, let's hear it. Let's see it. Oh, you, you, you might what? have to keep me on if they keep doing this well. <laughs> Uh, I might not get to bed tonight. Uh, Number 70 but, but, but do is tell an eligible receiver. <laughs> Number 70 is eligible. But I, I want to get back to uh, Peyton, what he does yeah. during the – Yes. Please. Yeah. Please. I, I mean, I'm sure I, I'm sure a guest would not want to oh, see this. But this. anyway, let's take a look. No. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh. I, have to do this. I mean, look at that. Oh, that's just nasty. Can you imagine that's having nasty. to see that all the time? I mean, geez, that's, Louise. Well, oh. Do you do you do you chew? Yeah. Do, do you actually chew or? Yeah, and the, the amount of makeup he quick. gets. Halftime is quick. Makeup in the, in the, on Monday nights, Robin. <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot to get done. I got to you know help Eli with all the questions for the second half. I have a lot on my uh, plate besides just food. Literally, yeah. literally, <laughs> a lot on his plate.
Yeah. Think about the trickery back in the Super Bowl. Remember that onside kick to start the second half? Yeah, round? yeah. Oh, one yeah. Of my, one of my favorite yeah. memories. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's talk about that game, Robin. Bring up, what, ha what, what, what happened in that game? Who won that one? Well, um, see, what happened That was, was not on the script. This was not on the script. I have some more Charlie Steiner <laughs> questions I want no, to get no. to. No, Eli and I worked it out this morning that we were going to get to the game. Ah, we were going to get I to got the it. Super Bowl I got it. Okay? I this mean, is payback. No. This is payback no, for being mean to my brother. I get it. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. it. That's it. But hey, you had a couple of you got a couple of rings. Can't you can't the Saints have <laughs> right. one? Yeah, got to so share. Was, yeah, we got to share. Yeah, that's Brady right. hasn't that's shared right. very much. Brady's no, pretty selfish not. when it comes he to. He gave me a couple of them. He shared with me. Yeah. He was Ooh, nice. He was really nice to me. That's, that's, that's right. You know, this your brother true. kept two more. That's true. And I think we have a picture of you interviewing him. And I'm just not sure why when you interviewed him, you had a cannon little marshmallow <laughs> dispenser thingy ding. And all I got to interview him was Peyton. Why is that? Peyton. Why is that the case? I, you know, I just had good fortune. But, yeah, that was something that was at the science fair at the White House that they're putting into the museum that he really liked. So this kid came up with this marshmallow cannon of some sort. I love that. Uh, President Obama was really enthralled by that. Get it. Oh, that should have been a pick. Oh. Sorry, that should have been a pick. That was right that there. That thing got tipped. He it right to him, Pete. I don't know if it got tipped. I, mean, no. I can't tell. No, I, Rob, let's, I think I could have caught that one, Rob. Let's see it again. Let's see it again. I could have caught that one. Oh, it oh, hit the no. helmet. Okay. Okay. Hit the helmet. Okay. I'll... Hit the helmet. But it still hit the linebacker right in the hand. Oh, but still. Right to him. Oh. He oh. wasn't expecting it. Oh, they don't We don't We don't care. You know how I say we, like I'm out there on the field. We, we don't you can say that. It is we. we. That's, not, that's not what we do. Good call. Four-man rush. No blitz. He's right. going deep again. Oh. Oh. I'm telling you. He's mad. He's mad. His that's two, two deep balls he's missed in a row. You think he's, he's mad? You think? He's not saying all shucks there either. <laughs> I saw no, a me. I, I, I saw a me. I'll give you a guess what the word is. Was before me. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I forgot. This is not a morning show, so we can. Mike say this Evans kind of thing. is not I happy forgot. either. My bad. My bad. Yeah. Mike Evans was wide well, open. Also, he's not happy either. To be honest, though, when you when you retired in 2012, after that, how many times has Tom texted you asking you to come back <laughs> and come play? <laughs> Well, the, well, the crazy, the crazy thing about it was I had an opportunity to come back to New England right before I retired. Oh, is that the <laughs> me in the '81? But no, I had an opportunity to come back to New England, man. I just thought it was just time, man. I just had more things to do, mainly off the field, man. So it was just a good time for me to leave the game. When you were coming out of high school, you went on a visit to Tennessee, and Peyton. <laughs> was your host. You know, why did you not go to Tennessee? I assume it's because he took you out to dinner and you saw him eat and you were so disgusted. You said, I can't be around this for four years. But what was the real reason you didn't go to Tennessee and, and follow Peyton? You know, what, what, what was crazy was that the, my initial visit to Tennessee wasn't as crazy because my first visit was Notre Dame. It was a great throw right there. Um, but it was my, my first visit to Notre Dame was special because that's where my heart was. So when I went to Tennessee, all I heard was Peyton Manning's in Virginia uh, at a family member's <laughs> house. He's trying to drive back here just to recruit you. And I was like, well, if he's driving here just to recruit me, why isn't he here right now to get me? So it was kind of like Peyton being laid. Uh, he wasn't mm. punctual. So that was the reason I didn't become a volunteer. Peyton was late. Oh, wow. Wow, that man. hurts. That hurts. I was seeing my girlfriend, now wife, at Virginia. I got up at three in the morning, drove all the way back. I said, Randy, we're going to throw it every play here. You know, three years, you'll be coming out to the NFL. He was not hearing it. He was headed for Notre Dame. Uh, I gave him my best pitch, though. Hey, Randy, when you signed with the Patriots, or when you got traded, Bill Belichick supposedly called you, and you immediately hung up on him. Tell us what happened there, and did he call you back to try to cut you after that? <laughs> no, so I had a I had an event. Um, I was dealing with a uh, smoothie company Number down 70. in Texas where they were honoring Deshaun Jackson coming out of college, and um, I wanted to be there, show my support, and I had a great time. And 
So we went out to celebrate later on that night. Um, and so I got a random phone call on uh, on my phone. So I answered it, and um, it was a deep voice. And uh, hello, it was Randy. I was like, it's, uh, it's Randy. And I'm like, who is this? So he's, you know, it's Bill Belichick. So I immediately hung up because I'm sitting up there thinking, oh, a great throw. Touchdown. Great throw, Dalton. Ah, touchdown. That's a great throw. Come on, defense. Hey, but, like, um, go. it's like Sluggo. Look like Sluggo seam, Randy. He checked the slam go. He checked the seam. And I think the corner overlapped inside to the seam. And, and he got, got Hill kind of on the wheel route. Yeah, here it is right here. You got Taysom Hill in that tight end uh -huh. position running that out. I don't know why defenses guys sleep on Taysom Hill's like he's not a gamer. I mean, they put him <laughs> at the quarterback position to go out there and just do what he do best. But he's a gamer, as you can see that play that he made right there. Great throw, Andy Dalton. That was, a, that was good progression there by Andy. That was truly getting to his third read. When Moss was playing, it was always the first read. You don't have Moss, you got to get to your third read. Randy, stay with us. Here we go. It's your classic sluggo seam play, Eli. You'll see a slant and go up top by the receiver. You'll see a seam route by this tight end and a wheel route by Hill. The corner doesn't bite up top, right? So the slant and go is not open, right? Dalton comes back to the seam. The corner overlaps inside to the seam route, playing his deep third, loses sight of Hill on the wheel route. Hill is wide open in the end zone. Great progression there by Andy Dalton getting to his third receiver on the sluggo seam. One, two, three, pump. See the cleats I got E? You pump Ooh. and you come back to the seam, then you come back. One, two, hey, three, one more you time. Pump. Do it again. Come <laughs> back to the seam and then you come back and my mic fell out. See? You got me you got me all excited now. Yeah, there it is. Oh, you're throwing your you're throwing your clicker down, the mic's off. You know, hey, you, hey, you, you, you love seam sluggo footwork. I mean, we, at the Manning Passing Academy, that's all you teach all week to freshman quarterbacks. What well, the thing about it is, I don't know why. My man done slipped and fell. That should have been on the, uh, the ESPN Monday Night. Come on, man, right there. You're going to throw Tom <laughs> on, the ball? Man. Then he's Seriously. supposed to plant his foot in the ground and come back and get the ball. He know how it's done. Uh, I think we'll have a picture we're going to show you here. We got Charles Woodson, Ryan Leaf, you and Peyton. You're wearing these sunglasses. I assume those are in the Hall of Fame. That's not why you're wearing them. But why? none of y'all are smiling right here. Y'all look miserable. Are you, did you know you were up for the best player in college football right there? Man, I'm going to tell you what, man. I'm going to tell you. Shout out to Charles, man, Ryan Leaf. I'm going to tell you what, man. I get so much about my glasses, man, and the true story. I've said it a, a million times, man. I was just so nervous being on that stage with those guys. Uh, the biggest platform that I've ever been on, um, you know, up to that point. And I was just ner I was just nervous. So being able to find those glasses on the street uh, from a vendor and I and warm, got in trouble by my mom coming down on the elevator. But uh, it's kind of like the, um, the story with Adam Sandler playing Big Daddy. I said this, this story before where the little guy was trying to use the bathroom and he had his glasses on and he's telling Adam Sandler that he's hiding and that's what I felt from those Oakleys, man. I was just so so nervous from the, the glitz and the glamour, the, the, the ce celebrities that was there. Uh, so I had those glasses on. Didn't know the magnitude behind it, but uh, shout out to that group of guys, man. That's a, a, a great picture, an iconic picture. Uh, Peyton, you still look the same. You made so many incredible catches over DBs. People still talk today about players getting moss. Now, you've mentioned some of the incredible accomplishments you've had in your career, but how does it feel to be an actual verb? <laughs> I mean, when you look at the game, Peyton, I mean, we, we followed each other, um, you know, all our careers throughout college, man. And, you know, it's just a great feeling just to really to have the next generation just still, you know, thinking of you, putting you on that type of pedestal, man. So. It just feels good every week that I can go on uh, ESPN Sunday Countdown and just have my own segment, you know, chilling out with Rex, Teddy, Matt, having them guys up or man, looking at the this best is, catches from around the country, way. around the globe, actually. So it, it's just a good feeling, man. My, so my, my eight-year-old gives me a little trouble sometimes, though. Oh, oh, they were. Got me. They got were. me. Check down. Take it. Down. And take it, and you're going to punt. Should have thrown it downfield. He covered, I thought he covered. had a shot. They had, they had kind of a sail route on top, Paid. I really thought off the look he could have thrown the corner or the post right here. You got quarters coverage. You got a good to the left right here. You got Jarvis right there on the corner. 
Jarvis. You got Jarvis. But Jarvis, Jarvis dropped that one on him before the half, and I think that was, yeah, that was stuck in Andy's mind somewhere. He's like, hey. Well, if you drop it, that's fine. You know, it's not that get the – throwing the check down to a covered running back is not getting the first down either. This gives you a chance. So, they don't miss many tackles. They really don't. They tackle well. They swarm. They're all over. It's surprising they haven't had – as many <laughs> turnovers and cause yeah. that many turnovers because of their aggressive play. You'd think that would create some fumbles. That would create, you know, a way. I think, I don't know, I think it's just the fact that they haven't been, I think having a lead helps you get turnovers. Yeah. Is, yeah. you know, is when you have a lead, the teams have to force. They have to start throwing a bunch. Yep. And they go. They had to lead. Their, their offense has been turned third, over. And so. Third and 17 is a good time to get one. Easy. They all, they all hit hard. Oh, there, there, it there, 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 there it is. Look at you. Swarm. Look at you. Swarm. Look at you. They got the lead. Third and 17. Nice call. Feeling loose. Feeling loose now. <laughs> you still have your cleats on? I got, yeah, I got my cleats on. Look at this thing. I'm already fast. I'm already, white, I was always faster in white cleats. I've already, I've already signed. I've already signed mine. We've already auctioned them off. We've raised a bunch of money already. You, you need to, you need to. A little late. Up a little bit. No, nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right, what do we got here? A little. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Saints last in turnovers, creating turnovers coming into this game. Two tonight makes all the difference. Let's welcome UFC president, huge Tom Brady fan as well. Dana White, Dana, last time you were on a mega cast, as I mentioned, it was with the Gronkowskis, you broke some big news. You said you had a deal orchestrated to get Brady and Gronk to the Raiders in free agency before that deal was blown up at the last second by Tampa. The internet went crazy with the news. Were you surprised by that reaction? Well, I was surprised that Gronk called me out on live TV on it. I mean, we had never <laughs> talked about that publicly. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, 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 the deal was in the works for him, for both of those guys to come play for the Raiders. A few years back, you actually celebrated your birthday with a Tom Brady Bucks cake. Do you think it's a little bit ironic at all that you ate something Tom Brady themed that Tom Brady himself would never eat? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, yeah, come on. Everybody has cake for their birthday, you know. I'm keto right now, so I couldn't eat the Brady cake, but, but yeah, uh, yeah, why not? So what, what, what would a keto cake look like now? What, you know, what would your birthday cake be? <laughs> it wouldn't be as good as that one was, I can promise you that. Um, Uh-oh, no, 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 no. Pam Jordan's all over the place. Oh, got Fournette. Ah, he dropped Bro. it well. Where's Gronk? We need Gronk. Dana, they need Gronk. Can you get Gronk? Can you get Gronk, you get Gronk to Tampa yeah. in the second half? And Edelman. <laughs> All right, they're going to go for it. I think they're going to go for this. This is third down right now. Oh, this is third and ten. Okay. I think they'll go. You think they'll go for it on third and ten, Dana? What do you think? You think they punt now? I don't think so. No. <laughs> I think I think they're in four down territory. Is my point, hey, Dana. It's what a great prediction! You're, what a great hey, prediction by you. They're going for it right here. I, it doesn't Dana, count as a prediction if you say they go for it on third and we'll ten, Faden. Now you're forcing <laughs> things. Welcome back. Still have Dana White with us. That's not a good sign for the uh, going for it when Tom Brady's on the sideline looking at the uh, tablet. They're punting. I'm disappointed in this decision, to tell you the truth, E. But. Uh, We'll see if the defense can get a stop. What's Tom looking at right there, Eli? What do you think? I don't know. Maybe that, yeah, I don't know. Maybe the third down play, just not, not a whole lot there. Um, a couple of drops, you know. He kind of gave, gave his tight end a couple of opportunities to make some plays. I think, he, oh, he's yelling at somebody. Oh, there we go. What was he saying? Catch Ooh. the ball. What was he saying Ooh. there, Dana? Can you read lips? Can you read lips, Dana? What was he yeah, saying? Yeah, I, I was he's reading his lips. Punter. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's not happy. Not happy? He's saying things he you said, can't say I'm on not ESPN. Happy. <laughs> I am not happy right now. That's what I'm he's saying. Mad at the, he's mad at the punter for punting it in the end zone. That's what he's mad about. Yeah. That's exactly what he – I mean, if you're not going to – I think gonna, he's mad about the receivers go for, not catching the balls they should be <laughs> catch catching. The ball. Dana, um, 
I assume that you spend a lot of time around big, sweaty guys. And I also assume if you're around two guys that are sweating, or, you know, you can probably tell which one's better. And we have a picture right here that I want you to analyze. And just, you know, which one are you more impressed with, Mr. Sweaty or Mr. Perfect here? I mean, look at Peyton's shirt. Is that normal? <laughs> on. <laughs> Hot. He was very nervous hot, being that hot. close to the goat. That's it. That's <laughs> it. Yeah. Is it, you know, is that like a is dehydrated? What's the problem there? Why does someone sweat profusely just in the upper chest area? <laughs> anyway. All right, Dana. Wow. Automatic first. Speaking of uh, speaking of pictures, uh, Dana. You know, part of being uh, well known is people take pictures of you all the time. Sometimes you're ready. Sometimes you don't expect it. There's a picture of you that's been shared a lot. It looks like you were prepared uh, for this picture. We'll show it when we have a moment. <clears throat> My question is, very impressive by the way, when you look at this picture of Eli, do you think he was posing or do you think this was a candid? <laughs> <laughs> that looks like my before and after. <laughs> yes, that's what it should be. Should be the uh, a new abs uh, ad. That bucket. Yeah. That that bucket's actually a normal size. I'm just that. that Let's just keep that, that up there until the Saints get a first down. <laughs> Launching a new power slap league in 2023, and apparently that's where people just slap each other. And I mean, what 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 is going on here? I mean, I I want to. Can Peyton and I please play? I, I feel like that's the trick. That you do to like I got done. Peyton's like, hey, we're gonna play this game and see who can slap each other the softest. And like I go and I like slap him really <laughs> soft, and he comes after and just slaps me as hard as he can. He's like, all right, I lose. You know what is going on? Here's a slap. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> I've got, I've got to get in this thing. Do you, do you participate in this, Dana? Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, that launch is uh, in is January uh, on TBS, and, uh, you know, I got into this in, like, 2017. I started seeing images of it on uh, online. It was coming out of, like, Russia and Poland. So I started to dive into it, and uh, I, I, I really liked it. So I've been working on it really since 17, and it launches in, in, in January of 23. Have you been working on your slapping technique or just working on the whole campaign? <laughs> I did the campaign. I'm definitely not working on my slapping. Uh, the, the, you know, the, the guys that, that uh, compete in this are very, very interesting. I think you guys are actually going to love it. There's Julio right there. Let's see if Julio gets a dip. There you go. We got your chip. Julio got a block, and the guy got a sack. <laughs> so, did not do real well. But the only thing about, only thing about chips, right, is you're not going to – expand and stretch the defense that well. Watch Julio number six, right? I mean, if we're going to get guys open, we're going to get guys the, down the field. Stepped on the left tackle's foot, I think. That, that didn't help. Oh, well, this drive, this drive's going well. Yeah. This is. All right, we've got to have some. He, Tom's going to be fired. He's going to be real excited on the sideline after this drive. I mean, what in the world? Julio, yeah, you can't, if you're going to chip, you cannot get in the way. I mean, you're an old flag football veteran. Are you ready for this? I mean, I think I have a major advantage over you, Peyton. I played flag football fifth, sixth, seventh grade, won a city championship in sixth grade, and you never played flag football. So I think I'm going to have the plays and, and really have a, a, a major advantage. Here we are, right? Look at this. Right, look at that. That's how you do it. I'm pretty sure yes. I gave you yeah, all your That's plays, an interception. Though. I played defense also, Peyton, just, to, just in case you were wondering. But, Eli, I gave you all all the plays. Those were my plays that I, I designed I that a, for your offense. I have a play. It didn't show it, but I think we'll probably show it. Just it, I run the option, and uh, it's pretty – I mean, I look like Lamar Jackson when he was, you know, before the injury, running the option. It was, it was pretty impressive. Lamar, if he's healthy, you know, could be playing for the AFC. So, you know, you better, you better find, you better find an NFC quarterback. What? You know, show this to Lamar. You might want to put this in with Lamar. Oh, that's the fake right there. In the, 
Yeah, that is not like Lamar at all. Oh yeah, that that looked like Lamar. Are you wearing white spandex or are those actually the color of your legs? (laughs) My gosh. (laughs) Sun not shine in New Orleans back in those days? Uh, No, it was it was cold. It was a cold cold fall that that year. Ah, let's go. Look at that. Who keeps her up with flag football stats? By the way, intercepted seven passes, not not thrown interceptions. I was played defense. Man, man, Hill personnel. They got something. They got something special. It's Hill. Blue leg. Blue leg. Play action. Oh shoot. Wow. What did they, what did they try? They tried, to get, they tried to get a three-level route out of the backfield. They run tried a to get a three-level route. route. They run it a, yeah, a, a, a V out. route with a sail with a flat. Just There's seconds. 30 Tampa seconds. covered it like a blanket. They're going to play man-to-man. Can we keep Alave in, please? <laughs> when I said I haven't seen a worse series than what the Bucks had a few plays ago, the, this Saints may top it right here. And you think in that situation, I mean, you got to have a play that's got to work. It's going to get someone open. You know, just you can't have a play just quarterbacks back there with nowhere to go. You take a sack. Right, they might run a catch and carry play here, don't you think? Oh, my goodness. What a ah. throw. What a, oh, he, he dropped, dropped it. it. He dropped it. What a, oh, my goodness. What about aggressive, tight window. It's a seam. Hey, that's, I mean, normally you want to hit that seam by like 18 to 20 yards. This thing's 25 yards down the field. But he's got to throw it high because his linebackers are getting so deep. Safety just gets his helmet right on the ball right there. And the corner got his hand in there. Good play. Good throw there by Andy. Try to get something right there in the slot. Seven yards. Tied in on the little stick route. There you go. That'll do it. Oh, my. Oh. Good score with that one. All right. So, yeah, now you got, you still got a timeout. You can take a shot. You, you can throw it in the end zone or you can, you can still. There's no foul on the play. It's third down. You can take a check down, Pate, right? I mean, if you had to and get it to the two yard line. He's got to, yeah, he's got to get rid of it quick. I mean, I would put. I'd have all four guys in the end zone. You know, the question is, do they get the back out? Or does the back stay in and kind of help and chip a little bit just to give them, you know, the last thing you want is a sack right here. Correct. I'd have all four guys getting into the end zone. All sides. Yeah, of course. We do, do it to the back. Well, it's kind of an angle return, Pate. Yeah, that's kind of wow. That's kind of that's the that's the route that McCaffrey does and Alvin does. And great job, just persevering. I wish the Rams would have called timeout earlier, right? Just to just to have a chance. They ran your they ran point. here. Yeah, they ran the old Gronk special, kind of the tight end out that he you know, ran forever, but now they also have the back there to run that angle, yeah. angle return. Yeah, great drive, great drive by Tom. You know, he was patient the whole time. He didn't force anything, he took what the defense gave him. Ooh, 